it's my pleasure now to speak with Yannick Bisson of the popular Murdoch Mysteries. Yannick Bisson, I cannot believe it has been a year since we spoke. So now we are on season 15 of the popular Murdoch Mysteries. Uh, when you when you first found out that you were coming to 15, what did you what did you feel? Did you do you know the stories that are going to be um, playing out over the next, hopefully, few years? Uh, I, I was a little shocked. Uh, tw 24 one hours is is a lot nowadays, especially, uh, it, it was for us, but especially, you know, in the current landscape, you know, shows are doing fewer and fewer episodes. I mean, the UK, it's always been six or eight or 10 or something per season. Um, with some exceptions. And so 24 was a little bit of a shock. At first, I was really excited. It showed, you know, a lot of commitment to, uh, for, for, on, on our audience's part toward, toward our show, but, uh, you know, the programmers, the networks and so on, and, and the advertisers as well, that, uh, you know, we were doing the right thing. And, and that's a nice feeling. It's a great feeling, uh, especially this far down the line. So it was uh, a real, um, a real treat but then you know reality sets in and actually pulling off 24 episodes uh it was it just started to settle in on me a bit uh but you know we're right in the home stretch now we're on the last two episode block um 23 and 24 and uh it hasn't been too bad well I, i'm glad you're doing doing 24 episodes because uh, how many did we do last did you do last time can't remember so last year uh, was uh, COVID year. So I think we were down to 11. Um, I know. And we and, all felt chipped. We, we wanted yeah. more Murdoch. We really did. And, you know, it, it really was a short season. And I'm glad that you're back for, for a large one. Um, let me ask you, when you started this 15 seasons ago, did you have any clue how popular this would be? No, I had no idea. Uh, in fact, we were probably, if, if I looked uh, on the landscape at that time, we were one of, if not the only period show on the go uh, in 2007. There was nothing. I think Boardwalk Empire was around that time, but there wasn't much else. So I didn't have high hopes. I liked the idea. I liked the concept, especially when we it, it drew near and we started getting more specific about the style of the show and 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 you know what the um, the overall vibe and the music was going to be and and the focus, the soundscape, all of that. I started to get excited because, again, no one was doing that. But you know that can go both ways. We could end up you know living a very short life, or who knows, you know, get three or four years. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Well, you know, you are, we're not mysteries, it's the number one drama, watch drama in Canada, and you are uber popular here in the States. So uh, how do you, how do you reconcile the, the popularity of this? What is it about this show that really involves the, the viewers? I think it's a, I think it's a, a, a volume of things because everyone I speak to seems to like something different about the show. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got a whole sort of smorgasbord of stuff in there. It's, it's a formatted show. We solve a mystery in, in 42 minutes, but we managed to sprinkle in all kinds of great stuff. Some, uh, some historical figures, some historical facts, some, you know, forensic sort of clue trail and, and investigation. And, and we also have a bit of comedy we don't take ourselves too seriously and that sort of opens the birth up a little to, to to be able to do lots of different things and let the 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 writers run wild as well as the performers you know there are some episodes where i you know let things loose a little bit more than others and uh you know life is like that and i think people appreciate that there have been a few episodes that went a little bit outside the the lexicon somewhat and, you know, some people balked at them, but at the same time, it's like 15 years. Have you been doing the exact same thing for 15 years? Do you like to take a break every once in a while? Um, and I think people, especially creative people, people in film, we like to take a format and turn it on, uh, turn it on its ear once in a while and, and have a good time. So I don't think we can be uh, uh, faulted for that. Oh. 
Well, yeah, you 15 years of being William Murdoch. I mean, you obviously have other uh, other projects going on during this time. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, when you're home, when you're not on set and you're just home with your family, do you ever feel like Murdoch would have said this or Murdoch would do this or do it this way? I mean, he's a yeah. part of you. You're a part of him. It, it, where, where does Yannick the song and, and William Murdoch begin? Well, there, there are a lot of things that are interchangeable. Um, I try not to be probably as serious as he is. I, I, I try to loosen up a little bit, but then my family might say otherwise. <laughs> Well, he's uh, so but, fun. I mean, I'd love to have him come over for dinner. I'll die. I love that. Okay. Movie. All right. Well, that's good. That's good. You don't want to be too stodgy. Uh, but, you know, the, it has been said around the house a few times, you know, when I figure something out or get to the bottom of a, an issue or something, well, another mystery solved, Dad. <laughs> so, you know, um, the, the, the lines get blurred, but I think you know, it's just like a football game. You're, you're only really on for 12 minutes out of two hours. So it's, um, you know, not the hugest amount of uh, playtime, you know, as opposed to prep time, lighting and wardrobe and makeup. <clears throat> and um, so we, I don't know, we perform and really it's only minutes a day you're really at the end of the day you are you right well you speak it spoke of your family a minute ago your family your wife and your daughters have come onto this onto the show at periods during the during the whole run of it do they come on does anybody from your family come on this this season and make it a family affair again uh yeah my youngest daughter michaela who's uh accomplished uh, um, actor in her own right uh, is doing a guest spot on um, on an episode with uh, um, Nigel Bennett, actually our guest uh, of that episode, who plays uh, Giles. Uh, is a fantastic actor. I'm always thrilled to have him, and uh, and she's on the episode as well. And uh, and that was one of the ones that I directed. So one of the first couple of episodes that were shot um at the beginning of the season so it was great to have what her episode out. number so we can we can keep our eyes open for her uh that would be either episode three or episode four and okay. the title some of the titles get changed before they go to air so what we run with uh in terms of the script and what gets aired or gets put on imdb is sometimes different so i that one might have been changed okay well, you you do you are directing two episodes this season. Uh, you've directed in the past, I know that. But let me ask you: you, you, you the the cast is a family because you've been together for so long. When you step into the role of director now, do you find that they treat you just a little differently because you are calling the shots there? Well, we move pretty quickly on this show, so there's sometimes there's not a whole lot of time for formalities and niceties uh although in normal times you know we have read-throughs and introductions and we have little sidebar meetings and talk about different things or or a director will express some of his goals in the upcoming episode that he's doing and things like that and 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 that's all quite necessary i think but in in, in the current climate over the past while we haven't been able to do a lot of that we need to sort of keep people separate uh, uh, for, for protocol reasons and things like that. So we, you know, meet up on the floor, but uh, yeah, it's such an excellent cast. We've all been working together for a long time. I think really trust is what uh, helps to dispense with any sort of uh, questions for the most part. I, I try to be as clear as I can in what I'm after and then everybody comes to play and they add to that. And, uh, and it's, uh, most of the time it's just it's a real treat really i mean i i i feel really privileged to be able to to direct at all but to be able to direct with this team is is uh is really great it's a it's an honor and a treat that's a it's a fabulous cast i mean it really is like i can't imagine anybody else in any of those in any of those parts those roles but lady you you did mention earlier about the real life characters real life people that come on 
to uh, the show, who can we expect to see this season? Oh gosh, we have the inventor of basketball, Professor uh, Naismith is going to be, uh, uh, he's a Canadian character as, as uh, many people know who invented basketball uh, while he was in the US. Um, and uh, so we're gonna visit that story a little bit. Um, we also have a celebrity guest on that episode who plays a locker room attendant. And um, let's just say he is uh, the, the current uh, NBA champ coach. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So I appreciate you coming on and talking with me. And good luck. Murdoch Mysteries on Ovation. And we've got 24 episodes this year. So thank you so much. And I look forward thank to seeing you. you next time for season 16. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for talking with us again. And thanks for talking about our show. Oh, we love it. And we love you. So we'll see you soon. Thanks. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye.